Now, where do I want them to mate? Should we mate on the tumor? Let's mate on the tumor. So this World's History Simulator just got an update. This is like the best AI only game for like globes and stuff like that. So let's create like a just a terrible earth that's gonna make everyone want to die. Okay, so immediately they did start with a pretty cool world. Wow, okay, so uh, that is actually not not too bad i i don't know if i want to go with it but i like what they you know are showing me here's the heat map mode we got a lot of heat going on is there supposed to be so much heat in the ocean is that normal okay, let's lower this and see what the world looks like then can we connect these two continents i'm assuming we could prop no but oh all the deserts went away it's weird oh we got river strength whoa what does that mean all right let's try that 100 river strength so i'm guessing we're gonna see oh oh we got a bunch of lakes over here that's Kind of weird. What if we made a world with tons of lakes? Or Finland, right? Finland and Sweden and all those countries. Oh my gosh, my whole phobia is really getting triggered right now. Whatever that's called. I like to call it whole, whole phobia. Oh, this seems like a terrible place to live though, to be honest. So these are rivers or these lakes? I guess they're both. I'm assuming they would create, yeah, like this is a lake, obviously. Some of these are rivers. They're not very long though. All right, so we need some more land. Let's go ahead and scale altitude to 23%. So I think that'll give me uh wait what did that do i don't know what that did all right well i'm just gonna set the sea level to negative eight thousand meters <laughs> you know we don't got whoa how does that work we created hoth from star wars okay and what if i just do sea level oh what happens to all the lakes when oh obviously wow i'm stupid oh okay so set average yearly rainfall if i raise this would that mess with the lakes assuming they oh no it just makes everything super green oh man that seems like a terrible like jungle jungle world are we doing that again all right well i'm just gonna do we want to connect it i don't know if we do want to connect it well i'm gonna mess with the, with the brushes a little bit and oh wow this is w really strong wait oh wait this gets rid of a lot of things no i don't want to do that wait i'm curious like if we get rid of the heat in the ocean what what does that mean all right let's, let's see what is this regenerate drainage so is this gonna mess with the rivers at all oh you know it probably does if i mess with some things and then we regenerate maybe regenerates the rivers let's increase average world temperature pretty sure terrible things shouldn't happen from that at all right oh actually no really we just lost the ice caps not a big deal Who cares about those ice caps wait let's keep it going just just to just to see just to see want to make sure okay let's i'm going all the way up 50 50 percent 50 celsius is Hey, we got a whole new continent now to explore. Nice, new map mode. So we've got a, uh, well, I don't even know what this is exactly, but it's beautiful. It's very clear. Oh, this is like coastline map mode. So there's obviously some coastlines with these major rivers slash lakes in the inside. Dang, I like this. Biomes. So we have a 96% forest biome. And rain, man, maybe I should change. That. That's like a lot of one thing. That, that's maybe too much of one thing. Survivability is 38%. Okay, so... Not a good chance for these humans. These humans will probably not have a good time. Arability, is that like farming and stuff like that? Hilliness, not very hilly. Yeah, okay, let, let, me, let me just turn down the forest a little bit, just a tad. Got a lot of water running around, okay, cool. Pretty sure all I gotta do is just turn this rainfall down a bit because it really didn't mess with the forest at all too much, or the, I'm sorry, the rivers at all. Oh yeah, so now at least we can create a desert you know, we want some desert people. And then I want like an island up here, maybe. An island sounds fun. Okay, yeah, let's do like a, maybe a mountain island. Look at, we, yeah, let's do Iceland. So you can escape the rivers. Oh, you cannot, why did that happen? Hold on. Regenerate g g drainage. Can, does that bring back? Oh, it does. Cool. We can make our own rivers. Boom. Boom. Okay, we're going to do like a little, some archipelagos over here. See if some people can survive. Okay, and this should be it. Okay, there we go. So at least we got three. It looks, you know, a little different. Now maybe different humans will pop up. Whoa, this thing is way too big. It's got like, I gave it a big tumor. I did not mean to give my creation a tumor. I'm so sorry. Oh, this is so creepy though. I don't like this at all. Okay, and this is weird. The ice caps are weird. I have this weird, oh yeah, I made an ice cap. So this continent is New Zealand or something. Drainage basins? Is that what this is? So this is showing me exactly how oh the rivers are gonna drain into the ocean huh is that what this is wow i like this i don't i don't even know if i'm no i don't know if i know what i'm talking about but it's cool oh look our little other things have like drain so yeah it's showing its escape route into the ocean after things freeze where are these rivers even coming from right this is like showing us um air ability so you can i don't know farm stuff oh look at the hill map mode we just got big red <laughs> 
Like I said, the, the tumor. Oh, no. Okay, and they're just at the ca caps. Oh, this is a cool update. There's a lot of different things. All right, it's time to start this thing up. Let's see. You know, half the fun of this game is just, like, making your own little world. And now I got to see if this was a good enough place for humans to survive. You know, it always tells me to start with this. Instead of starting with two people and having a lot of uh, uh, things... I'll Let's just start with that. Now, where do I want them to mate? Should we mate on the tumor? Let's mate on the tumor. And bam -o, They have made it to other places. This looks like Turkey to me. Okay, and it's going really fast. Can we slow it down a little bit? I noticed that, like, they don't do the, uh, like, the human native uh, hunter-gatherer sort of things. Like, they're immediately starting nations already. Oh, there are some, like kind of uh, people that haven't formed any nation yet, and they just immediately got off of that. They're like, no, nope, that's not gonna work for us. Look at that, just from that one cell, we've got 13,000 inhabitants from that one cell. So we can actually like go around and look at different populations. I don't even see it from here. Dang, why are there so many people living here already? Okay, well half the fun is just gonna see them scatter across the globe, and uh, they're definitely doing that. Ooh, there's a lot of green over here. Hey, what what's going on with this green? I'm confused about that. So we've got a couple people that have made it within there's a desert ice. We got a desert ice cap. I've never heard of that before. Well, actually, technically, you have. That's normal. But not the desert that I'm talking about. Anyways, boom. We got a purple nation coming up, taking everything. Whoa, there's still a lot to go. Oh, this is going to be a crazy, crazy battle. All right, purple dudes, I'm going to need you to calm down. Oh, this is going to be so ugly because they can't colonize the river, can they? They're going to keep all these weird patterns. Nice and colorful over here, so we have no like uniting a uh, nation and we're really far from it so oh wow yeah there's definitely way more nations this time around dang look at this over here okay so these purple nation this purple guys like they started like a lot of this and then there was a revolt and uh and then they got their independence we also have like i want to say like venice we got some venetian people they're just like scattered along the coastline. Also, is this same? Oh yeah, they are here too. They got an island. Oh, no one likes my like uh, continent that I created myself. At least not yet. Maybe that'll change. We got some nations that are really close to the pole, surprisingly. They do not mind. They're just gonna chill, I guess. Wow, things are getting crazy. I like this. So it is really divided. And I don't know, oh wow, it is so divided. Can we get someone, can we get a Rome in this world? Oh, the orange guys are about to get kicked off, aren't they? Yeah, there's no way to keep this because uh, Ed Warwo, Ed Warwo, they, yeah, they gonna win that. I kind of have this feeling that my computer's getting ready to blow up because there's just so much going on on screen. It's too crazy. Oh, it looks so gross. No, stay away from the North Pole. Don't go to the North Pole. We don't need this many Santas. Oh, we got like different, uh, po polity, po what does that mean? Contacts, preference, I don't know what any of this stuff really is, but dang, there's a lot more overlays. Yeah, who got boat making? Anyone over here got boat making? I'm pretty sure, yeah, the, the entire world got boat making. Okay, I figured that. Only a couple people know how to sail plant cultivation. So certain nations are doing some plant, plant cultivation. And I, you know, I think I should be like keeping in mind what part of the globe they're learning this. Wow, people at the ice caps can, can do that? That's a surprising one. Oh, no one knows how to do terrorist, terrorist inter irrigation yet. I'm guessing that's like a later on tech. Maybe these people are getting close. Ooh, population density. So, so far, of course, it is along the coastlines. This world is not too old, but uh, yeah, it, it is directly, they're not getting too far inland. Oh, that's cool. They are using the rivers to travel. This is the display uh, routes, routes of travel or something like that. So they are using that in their like boat making skills. Oh, I like this view. So we can just like view the political thing with the coastlines enabled, but I don't know. It, it's pretty way to look at it, but I don't know. How's my baby tumor doing? Oh, it's looking great. Oh, it's growing a little bit even more. Wow, we should really get that checked. Bam, this island now finally getting some people on it and it's looking like they came from here. Um, yes. Oh, no, it's not. Those are just similar colors. Yeah, this is, uh, too many colors, to be honest. Hopefully no one has a fear of colors, because that, this would be a horrible video for them. Maybe having too much land is actually a negative, to be honest, because then you can't, like, well, I don't know. Then th Maybe you have a tougher time, like, consolidating or something. I still really like my desert ice caps my actual sand desert ice caps. At least that's what I'm thinking it is. It's uninhabitable and it's gonna stay like that forever. Are the rivers going away or are people going into the desert? No, the rivers can't go away unless they're dams. Have they figured dams out? I like these little dudes. They've got like the smallest possible island. Actually, there's two different nations sharing this small little island. At least we've made a world where pretty much everyone can get everything. I mean, there isn't even, I mean, there's this little bit of land, but yeah, for the most part, it's all uh, except for the tumor and the desert cap. Everything else is good. 
It's been locked down. Here's a look at farmland distribution. So that's kind of like on the northern hemisphere and then, oh yeah, along the coast here. I wonder how this stuff works though. I, I feel proud of this globe though. Ah, so you can see where the fishing goes on, which is obviously along the coasts and along the rivers. And then you can see where the farming goes on, which is also along, I guess you have to in an all like river world, but it's pretty close to the water here. Oh, someone has figured out irrigation. I don't know why they're the only ones to do it, but pretty impressive. Ah, uh, it's these guys. Okay, and their faction influence, I, I don't know what that means. Is there like a big nation? I wish they had rankings. That's the only thing. I wish we had like a ranking of like best nation. Or you know what else would be cool? If aliens just dropped down and started to mess with them. You know, like create a pyramid for them and then they have to like theorize things. That'd be crazy. So the southern ice cap is also getting a little bit of people down here. Oh yeah, look at all this. So they don't even want the rest of my continent that I created. They want the top part, but they really want the bottom for some reason. Maybe it's got to be because uh, I messed with the temperature brush or something. The giant mountain has been surrounded and it looks like these are the dominant uh, tribes because this is the one dominant tribe. I imagine like they probably go up here and do some uh, ritual sacrifices or something like that. That's probably pretty cool. I like how this is not just one big purple thing across all the oceans. So there are some nations that are just like going straight across. Is it interesting like the trade? So some people are trading with this little island surprisingly. So they have some valuable resource. Everyone's stopping by Tumorland. So that's kind of cool. I mean, it seems like it. And this is where like people just drop off maybe to get to the other side but they're, they are paying a little visit and the drainage is still going on. Look at that drainage. Beautiful, just beautiful. And it's going on a little bit on the islands, but not as crazy. Whoa, this seems like some lowlands or something. This looks like the political map mode that I've been looking at the whole time, but no, this is the language map mode. So pretty much every single country has, oh, except for this area, dang. Maybe this language is gonna start to take over. So yeah, you see that in the background and then boom. So we have multiple nations within that one little language area. So they share, so you know what that means? It probably means that this that this was once a great empire and then it fell apart. At least that's my guess. I'm wondering if, you know, cause these are technically not even nations. They're still called tribes. All of them are called tribes. So I'm wondering if there's gonna be an update or eventually go into the future where they will nation build and empire build, things like that. I just want like a trade empire that gets like, that's just like dotted all around all the coastlines of the world and they're just going around having fun. There's a unified island. I always like seeing these. Thank you, stay like that. It's good. It's nice to finally just not have some division because everyone else has is like a little bit split off except here, this is good. Did no one even, no one colonize this. Look at that, it's valuable land. Anyways, that's World History Simulator. That was uh, actually kind of interesting. I never thought about doing like all rivers and it maybe it did slow down some of the growth we could have maybe seen more growth but you know rivers tend to do that it's hard to get across rivers especially when you just figured out boat making and things like that but i don't know thanks for watching see you next time a big thanks to vinnie chang hey mikey pilovsky vincent s free cruise junior 0915 daddy kim supreme leader of the universe lol night Ballin like star birthday daddy sleeper 56 mega fat boy 2.0 Hentai Lover, time. Brendan H, Cooter Donkey, Pizza, Maxi G, Swiss Argo, Rooster Elijah Senpai, and LPC. Thank you.